orange. Uh, this one will look familiar, I'm sure. Exclamation mark series number one. Remove an exclamation mark from the end of a string. And for whatever reason, even though I always filter by easiest, um, I hit the number two part of this challenge in a previous video. So I'm not sure how that happened. I apologize for the misordering, but it's really not any matter. This one is slightly different than the last one we did, which stripped all exclamation marks appearing at the end of the string. In this case, we just want to remove the last one if it is present. So their description, remove an exclamation mark from the end of, of string. For a beginner kata, you can assume that the input data is always a string, blah, blah, not important. So yeah, I guess remove a exclamation mark from the end of the string. Um, not all of them. So notice high with one goes to high, high with three goes to high with two, high with zero is still high with zero, and so on. So a little bit different here. Go ahead and pause the video and knock this one out. Should be well equipped for this one. And then I'll get into it. So basically I'm going to check if, um, you know what, I'm going to access the last index a couple times. So I'm just going to specify it in a variable here. String dot length minus one would be the last index. Remember, we have zero based numbering. So if I had s of last index, this is looking at the last character in the string. If that is equal to an exclamation mark, then we want to return a string that doesn't include the last character. That's the basic strategy there. So go ahead and we can use that substring method that we saw in a recent challenge. Return s.substring. And then there are a couple variations of this one. I'm going to use over the top this one with two parameters where I can say where to start from and how many letters to take. If you just use the single one, it says where to start and it just takes all the remaining characters to the end of the string. So I want this one. Start index and length. And there are some examples there if you want to see how they work. Um, so in my case, I want start at the beginning and go to the last index. Remember that's one less than the length. So instead of taking the full number of characters, let's say it was five, this would go from zero to four. It would omit the last character. That's how that works. And that should be enough there. And remember, because I return here, I'm out at this point if the last character was not an exclamation mark. And so at this point, what do we do? Well, you can simply return the string as is, right? There's nothing to peel off. So, um, yeah, I think that covers us. We'll go ahead and run the test. First test looks good. And I have found out that you can hit control enter to go to the attempt. It's a nice little shortcut key so you don't have to go around with your mouse all the time. Um, there we go. I like the hotkeys. So yeah, looks good. This one works, they'll allow us to submit. We'll go ahead and do that and see what else other people did. Um, yeah. So there you go, another good one, string ends with, check if it ends with an exclamation mark. If so, remove the last character. So there's a nice little introduction to some other options with the string class. You of course could come in to the docs page. If you go to string and methods, you can see everything that's at your disposal. 
it's good to ch check over those from time to time and over time you build up your memory but yeah that's a good one i like that one Ooh, there we go rejects nice regular expressions good stuff yeah okay so there you have it hit me up with questions or solutions comments whatever you have and we'll keep moving